because well, I'm off work now, but it's Good Friday. So of course the daycare was closed, but I'm cleaning my Stanley Club. Club? <laughs> oh my God, I need to start over. Okay. Okay, just logged out of work for the weekend. I'm lucky enough that Blair is a teacher and has today off, so, um, why is cleaning the Stanley so hard today, apparently? So anyways, Cruz went over to Boo Boo Daycare. Auntie Boo Boo's daycare this morning. And that Momo was there, Scott's mom. So, all boys got to hang out and play. You got to see Momo and Auntie Boo. And Scott just took him over there like he would take him to daycare at like 6.37. I think it was like 7. And they just played. I got some pictures while I got some work done. They had lunch, and then on my lunch break, I drove over there. They live like literally seven minutes from our house, which is super helpful on days like today. I made these cute Rice crispy eggs that I'm getting wet, um, which were fun. I got so many cute videos and photos of them. And then he came home and took a nap. He only took an hour nap. So he's been up since like two. So the last hour of work, he's been playing with his bikes. Honestly, he watched a little bit of motocross on YouTube. So I need to get work done. But we're logged out for the week. The weekend, I wish the week. The next week is actually a really short week for me because I'm out night night. I'm out next Thursday and Friday to go to Scottsdale finally for Madison's last sweat party. It's the weekend. I was actually at an accountant appointment. We're getting a new accountant this year, doing some tax stuff and asking some business questions. Um, we're actually gonna meet with her again to have a full sit down, but she at least wanted to see like her paperwork and stuff right now. And then we are going to Green Valley Mexican because that is what we do on Friday nights. We're going with Jake and Madison and then now our new neighbors-ish, they just live up the street. Well, like 15 minutes, but Chris and Kelly are gonna meet us there too, possibly. I invited them, but that is kind of what we do on Friday nights. We go to Green Valley Mexican, have a margarita, chill out. Chris gets to see Madison and Jake. I was making sure this doesn't smell like lemon. I've been using lemon in it. And it needed a good clean. Sometimes I forget to clean this thing, as gross as that sounds, because you just fill it up with water and I just keep drinking out of it every day. I need to order groceries, so I'm gonna do that next while he's playing and occupied. Do you want a snack? Washed my hair last night. Cruz went to bed fine last night, but woke up at like 1 a.m. a little upset. But that's okay, we handled it. He came to bed with us and woke up so happy. I don't really have crazy big plans this weekend. It's Easter weekend, so we have family stuff tomorrow night with my family and then Sunday afternoon at like 3.30 for Scott's family. So I need to go grocery shopping to get a few things for that and prep i'm only bringing like a fruit tray and a i want to do a corn-ish dip for vicky's on sunday and saturday my mom doesn't let me bring anything so i'm not bringing anything but i think we're gonna do just a casual get together because it's just my brother my niece charlotte cruz my husband words are so hard today and my parents it's very small um so I think we're just gonna chill, maybe order pizza or something. Nothing too crazy, there's no reason. And have an Easter egg hunt and let the kids play. He loves his cousin Charlie and Granny. Probably his two, one of his two favorite people. And then this weekend we're gonna do some chores and get the boys ready for mom to leave out of town. I have so much anxiety about it. Not that I don't think Scott has it, he totally has it. I'm not even stressed about that. I'm stressed just me not being here. That's it. That's all it is. And I want Cruz to be happy and not missing his mama. And if you know Cruz, he is a mama's boy. Like two nights ago when Scott went in to cuddle him, he was crying. It's crazy because sometimes he wants Scott only and doesn't want me. Like the same night I'm talking about when he went to bed, he didn't want to go to bed with me. He wanted to read books with Scott and cuddle Scott. 
and he went to bed. Then when he woke up like two hours later, he only wanted me and was screaming for mama. And I'm just so nervous that's gonna happen when I'm out of town. But Scott is capable of handling it and I know he will. He's a wonderful dad. So it's all of my own anxiety brought on by me. My nails are still off. That's actually wild. I don't know if I've ever had my nails off this long. It's been since Monday, so four days. But I think I'm gonna get them done on like next Monday. I'm gonna get a pedicure tomorrow with Madison. So I don't know, I'll take you along this weekend and let's get some stuff done. And hang out with our family and friends and have a good weekend home. while I'm out. I did online ordering this morning, finished it up, and it says it's going to be ready around noon, which will be perfect. He's been awake for like 10 minutes and just playing with his monster trucks. <laughs> he keeps saying, night night, mama, night night. Cruz is up from his nap. And is eating some yogurt on the floor. I am going to make a corn dip for tomorrow. I've never made it before, so... What's the difference? Do the small one. Cruz loves these Stonyfield yogurts. This one's strawberry. But I love these pouches because I feel like they're pretty big. They're not small and it does the job, except for right now he wants more snacks, but that's fine. Scott's outside clipping some trees before we go to my mom and dad's for Easter, but I figured I'll make this dip I'm taking tomorrow for Vicky's Easter. What? You're by me. Oh my, really? What else? Uh oh, you're not gonna wanna eat this, I promise. But this is a corn dip that is actually always at Scott's cousin's, Brittany's house. Um, and I texted her for the recipe because I've been craving it. You are just crazy. And it's her mother-in-law's recipe. But she said when she's made it before, it doesn't taste the same, so I'm super freaking nervous, but we're gonna try. One cup of sour cream, which is eight ounces, so it's just whole thing. Okay, this dip is also not healthy, not anything, but it's so freaking good. He's at this age where he just blabs, and I have no idea what he's saying, but it's fun. Okay, a cup of sour cream. Yeah. Cup of sour cream, and then we need a cup of mayo and eight ounces of cream cheese. Please, please you can have it. I meant thank you, but that please works too. Okay, and then one cup of mayo. I what? mayo is so disgusting to me. I like it on a sandwich lightly, but like buying it and looking at it. Ugh. Uh -huh. Hi. So this just has sour cream on it, which it's all gonna be blended together, so it's okay. You know like those things you eat and you think it's so, so good, and then someone gives you the recipe and you see what's in it and you're like, mm, I don't know how I eat that, but it's good. So I'm hoping this is good. So we blended that all up. We need two cans of green giant Mexi corn. No sissy. Okay, she ate it. So I have two cans of Mexi corn. You need to drain these. And you need one and a half cups of shredded cheddar and a four ounce can of green chilies and diced jalapenos, a four ounce can of that. 
and then a half a bunch of chopped green onion. Looks like I ordered two, so that's obviously way too much. We need to get ready soon. We have an hour. Did you have a good morning with Dad? Dada. 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 <laughs> you did. Dada. Mix this all up. So that's one. Just diced up some onions. And then it says just to mix these two up. And you have yourself a dip. So this is the dip. I'm gonna wipe this down, cover it with some foil, and put it in the fridge. I decided I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on so that we can take a decent family photo later. Cruz's outfit is so, so, so cute. Actually, both days I got two outfits on accident. Well, we're not really on accident. I just forgot I had bought one. So I bought another cute shirt that they can wear. One of them you can wear anytime and one has bunnies on it. But I showered and washed my face earlier. So I'm just gonna wrap with what we got here. My eyes are so dry. I actually think I'm gonna just switch my left contact out. You wear contacts, I feel like some contacts you put in your eyes, they're just like not meant to be there. They need to be switched out. So we gonna put some makeup on. Ignore the messy towels hanging in the back, but I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. glow screen, or what's it called? Woa Gold Glow, Woa Gold. Why is word so hard? The Woa Glow, that is what it's called. And I really like it. My roots are so bad, they look like gray. So I'm gonna have to put some black eyeshadow on that. But I'm not gonna put full face of foundation. So I'm just gonna use that and do some blush and bronzer. And I'm going to use, I like this Maybelline Eraser Concealer in the darker shade to do Spot Conceal, which I really don't have too much going on. I feel like the things on my chin have been there for like months, but I don't know why. I've been using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer for under here. And I think I'll buy this again, probably in the darker shade to try. I forgot to blend that in. Um, the darker shade to try to do spot conceal because I really like that too. I like both of those. Scott is still clipping trees. I texted him and told him we have less than an hour to leave. And actually my mom just texted me and said come over whenever, but we aren't ready. <laughs> I ended up changing crews and he looks so cute. Do his hair. Set that with a little powder. Scott just texted me and said he was taking back the last load he had to take back, so he should be in soon. Doing life without nails is so hard for me. Oh my god, that's a lot of blush. I messed up. I messed up. Look at homeboy's outfit. Do you look like the cutest boy? Okay, listen to mommy. This is hot. Actually, I'm just gonna run. Hey. Remove it from the situation. Little highlighter. Thank you. Little powder blush. Little bronzer on my eyes. Little bit of bronzer. Here. He has so much snot. Yeah, we're gonna have to have daddy suck that snot out, honey. We can't not. He wouldn't let me just do it just now, so daddy's gonna have to be the bad guy. I'm gonna blend this in. So pale right now. I wanted to self-tan this weekend so I could wear like a dress or something. But I'm getting a self-tan for Scottsdale when we leave on Thursday. So I didn't want to have extra tan on already or have to like work to scrub it all off. Good job. I don't know if you guys can see him. I think you can. Put a little bit of bronzer. My hair. Really? I just might leave my hair up like this because well, without a headband. But yeah. Whoa. I'm just gonna sweat. 
So typically that would literally take like three minutes if I wasn't talking. I've had this like primer thing for mascara. I don't even know if it really does anything, but I've had this thing for years. It's probably expired. I'm probably putting toxic shit on my face. You can't see him, but he's taking the spray. I just put on that beauty blender and trying to spray on it. You are so cute, dude. Good job. I'm so smart. So my eyebrows are microbladed on, so they're always kind of there, but when I put makeup on I feel like it still needs like outlined real quick but it's nice because the shape is already there there's not much for me to do and my natural hair color is like blonde so the front of these eyebrows specifically look like they're gone but they're really just light so my regular hair starts to grow through the microblade so we're gonna finish this and fix my hair. Thank you.